Well, what is going on, everybody? It's Ethan here, coming to you from the back of my car at 6 in the morning in Moab, Utah. I'm sure I look like a million bucks right now, but after a lovely night of car sleep, I am uh, waking up here so I can uh, get ready, start getting ready, and uh, head up to my destination for the day, but um, before I go, I gotta tell you, I've been paranoid about this all night. So, let's see here. Oh, yeah. I know you probably can't see it in the video, but my bike is still up on top of my car. <laughs> oh, man. Just bought that damn bike, and uh, I did lock it up, but... In the back of my mind, I mean, I was just paranoid about that all night. That I just wake up to the sounds of uh, of a cat burglar making off with my brand new uh, bike that I paid a lot of money for. So glad to see that it's still up there. Uh, no cat burglars absconded with my bike last night, but um, yeah. Anyway. I'll get back to you guys in a little bit here and uh, you know once I wake up and you know everything and explain what is going on today and why I am uh, spending the night in the back of my car right now all right guys I will get right back to you all right well I'm actually a little more awake now just had some breakfast which consisted of uh, of a kind bar, a bagel with nothing on it, because I forgot to bring that, and <clears throat> an apple, and no caffeinated beverage, I forgot to bring that too, so I'm winning this morning, it's starting off, starting off great, but driving through some beautiful scenery, some beautiful Moab scenery right now on the way to uh, my destination, which is going to be the Island in the Sky District in Canyonlands National Park, where I'm going to be doing a uh, fun bike tour today. Uh, about 26 miles on the bike and about six to eight miles of hiking, depending on how much of that I want to do. But for now, I'm just enjoying the drive. Got about uh, 20 miles to go to get to where I'm going to be parking near the park entrance. All right, well, good morning again. This time the sun's up. Got to watch a beautiful sunrise happening on the drive up here. And there's some deer that are now taking off. I'm at the Island in the Sky Visitor Center. It doesn't look like there's too many people in the park right now, but I'm sure that'll change. Getting a beautiful view of the sun rising over the LaSalle Mountains right now. And I'm about to grab my bike out and get this ride started so like I said earlier this is going to be a 26 mile uh, ride round trip it's 13 miles each way to the end of the park road and back and I will be stopping once every you know few miles uh, to get out and do like a couple of the shorter hikes in the park plan on doing like Mesa Arch uh, the Grand Point overlook and a couple other overlooks just some short easy hikes that'll end up being about anywhere from six to eight miles like i said depending on how i feel and how much uh hiking i actually feel like doing but today is uh mostly about being on the bike and just enjoying a beautiful day out here in the island in the sky in canyonlands national park Starting the ride. I got uh, 12 miles from here to the Grand Viewpoint, 
So, it's gonna be a nice, fun ride. And it's about 30 degrees right now, so <laughs> it is not warm. I got a first viewpoint didn't take very long to get to this viewpoint literally right down the road from the visitor center this is the uh, Schaefer Canyon overlook so that's Schaefer Canyon down there there's the road uh, it's actually closed right now to uh, vehicles but if you have a you know mountain bike or something like that you can still ride it uh, looks like a pretty cool ride you can actually ride it all the way from here down to uh, Moab so it goes down quite a bit of elevation there's the LaSalle Mountains out there and it is warming up a little bit but it's still cold Well, it's been uh, pretty uneventful for the last few miles. Uh, it's been almost all uphill <laughs> I have so far. I had that initial downhill that led to the Schaefer Canyon overlook, but pretty much everything since then has been almost entirely uphill. I am about four and a half miles into the ride right now, so making pretty good time. And uh, just wanted to show you guys this view of the uh, uh, Henry Mountains off in the distance over there Got a lot of snow on them actually a lot more snow than uh, They normally have at least when I've been here in the past But yeah, really beautiful out here this morning It's a bluebird day today, which is really nice and uh, So far there hasn't been too many cars on the road, which is also nice but yeah just wanted to get off to get that view real quick and uh I'm gonna keep heading down the road. Should be getting to the Mesa Arch Trailhead, I, I believe, pretty soon. Not exactly sure how much further. All right, I made it to the Mesa Arch Trailhead. So, gonna do the quick, like, I think it's like a .6 mile loop to uh, see Mesa Arch real quick. And then head back here and get back, get back on the bike. All right. Well, just a quick 0.3 miles later, and I'm at Mesa Arch. The arch itself, yeah, the thing about Mesa is the arch itself isn't like the most impressive thing in the world, but 
the views that you get like through the arch are just like outstanding. This is actually a really popular spot to come and watch the uh, sunrise. And there it is. check out that view how incredible is that beautiful beautiful spot here another little viewpoint here from Mesa Arch there's the arch down there and uh, the Abajo Mountains over there all the canyons that give this region its namesake Canyonlands And of course the beautiful LaSalle's over there. What an incredible place. Yeah, Mesa Arch can get pretty crowded, especially given that it's a Saturday today, but there's not many people out here. I think the cold weather's keeping people away. that on the way back. We'll see. Depends on how I feel. But all I can tell you is I'm at the halfway point right now, so that's a good feeling. And the views are absolutely beautiful. Well, how is that for an overlook? My goodness, that is incredible. Beautiful. There's the Colorado River down there and the Green River's back over there. I tell you, that's the cool thing about doing like riding this on a bike as opposed to by car. I mean, this wasn't even like a, an overlook, you know, like a, there wasn't even a pullout on the side of the road and you couldn't, couldn't really see it from the road. So, you know, you had to hike over some slick rock to get back here. But I just kind of noticed as I was riding by, I was like, oh, that looks like it'd be a cool overlook. And I mean, it's incredible. The canyons, the Colorado River down there, the uh, Henry Mountains in the background. That is really, really beautiful. Wow.
All right, at the Buck Canyon Overlook. You can see there's another like Jeep trail going through there on top of that uh, Mesa. Wow. Very short little walk right off the road to a uh, pretty dramatic viewpoint. And of course you got the LaSalle's over there and the Abajo Mountains over there. And then looking back towards where the road is, the Henry Mountains back there. Wow, what a what an incredible viewpoint. If you're uh, driving this road, I mean, if you're biking, definitely stop here. But even if you're driving and you want to get a good viewpoint, I definitely say pull over when you see the sign for uh, Buck Canyon because this is incredible. Well, it's a little windy over here, but I made it to the Orange Cliffs Overlook. And look at those views. That is incredible. This could not have been a better day to do this. I mean, you know, being a Saturday, there's not that many people here. And uh, the views are just incredible. I mean, the sky is just so clear right now. I love how up here on Island in the Sky, you can see all three of the big mountain ranges that are in the Moab area. You can see the Henry's, the Abajos, and the LaSalle's from up here. So, I just, uh, there's the parking area for the Orange Cliffs Overlook up there. And um, the road actually ends in 0.2 miles. So I'm pretty much at the end of the road. And once I get to the end, I'll be at the Grand Viewpoint Trailhead. And uh, I'm going to do the two mile round trip out and back hike to the Grand Viewpoint. All right, bikes locked up, ready to go hike Grand Viewpoint Trail. It's only two miles round trip, so should be pretty easy, but it brings you right to the end of the mesa that makes up Island in the Sky. Good amount of people on this trail. This is the most people I've seen since I've been here. I tell you that whole ride was really cool but this trail is incredible it's right on the edge of this of these massive cliffs and the views are just like jaw-dropping last time i hiked this trail was like over four years ago I forgot how beautiful it was these views are just absolutely jaw-dropping I mean, all the, the views of the canyons and the desert, the cliffs, the mountains. I usually don't come up here to Island in the Sky because uh, I just prefer to go to the Needles. A lot more backcountry uh, and uh, a lot less people. So it's just a better place, in my opinion, for... Uh, you know, doing a hiking trip, but Island in the Sky definitely has the needles beat when it comes to these dramatic views. Now, on the other side, and getting a view over to the Orange Cliffs area, and the maze, man, If I've said it once, I've said it a million times, Canyonlands is definitely top three favorite national parks for me in the country, at least of the ones I've been to. All right, made it to the end of the Grand Viewpoint and the end of Island in the Sky. Took me two hours and 50 minutes to get here 
from the visitor center and that was uh including all the little stops i made so far i've done 12 and a half miles on the bike and about two miles of hiking and man this is beautiful look at that canyon down there that is just incredible looking i apologize for the wind but uh so out over there, those are the needles, of course the Abajo Mountains, and looking out in that direction, that's the maze, the by far the most inaccessible section of uh, Canyonlands National Park, and the Orange Cliffs area over there, you can see right there the Colorado River. And you can't really get a good look at it from here, but right over there is the confluence of the Green and Colorado Rivers. And those two rivers are what divide the park into its three uh, sections. Wow. This is absolutely incredible. It's, like I said, it's been so long since I've been here, I forgot how crazy looking Island in the Sky actually was. It's good to be back good to have done it on a bike that was really cool definitely uh, the coolest bike ride I've done in a very very long time of course it's not over yet I still have to ride back to the visitor center and I am planning on hiking at least one more trail on the way out so I definitely days definitely not over yet but I am gonna enjoy it here for a minute because I mean when it comes to getting a pretty epic view, it really doesn't get much better than this, than where I'm standing right now. This is absolutely incredible. All right, well, I am leaving my lunch spot. That was my lunch spot right there. And, uh, <laughs> As far as uh, places you could eat lunch goes, I'd say this is uh, definitely one of the better places you could pick. This is pretty incredible. So, got a mile hike to get back to the bike, and then I can start riding out. And of course, I do plan on stopping at a couple of spots I didn't stop at on the way out here. But yeah, this is incredible. And uh, this uh, whole day of mine in elevation, it tops out right about the middle of this trail at about 6,300 feet. And the low point is actually right after the visitor center, like pretty much right towards the start of the ride, which was like low 5000s so there definitely are some ups and downs on the road but it's really not too bad all right finished the hike and luckily my bike is still right where i left it <clears throat> Time to get back on the bike and start heading out. All right, I'm at uh, the White Rim Overlook area. There's actually a trail you can hike over there to get a better viewpoint, but I decided to skip over that one. But yeah, what a beautiful view. Uh, I honestly don't know how much more hiking I'm gonna do today. I am starting to feel sore now that I'm back on the bike, so, and I still have like, almost 12 miles of riding from here to get back to the visitor center. So I may just ride and, you know, maybe stop at the occasional overlook, like places that I missed on the way up here, but probably not gonna be doing much more hiking today. Three miles of hiking and 25 
plus miles of bike riding, I'd say that's pretty good for the day. I'm back at the Mesa Arch Trailhead. It's a lot more crowded now than it was uh, earlier this morning. Uh, definitely, now it's getting later in the day, there are a lot more people in the park. Traffic on the road's still not too bad though, so that's been nice. But just stopped here for a minute to get a drink of water and uh, just get off the bike for a minute. And uh, it's about time to keep going. I passed the uh, turnoff for Upheaval Dome, so I'm a little past the halfway point right now. Uh, I have gone 19 miles thus far. So, and I got about like just under six miles, probably about exactly six miles from here to get back to the uh, visitor center. Just past the uh, 10 mile marker, so the uh, visitor center's at mile marker seven, which means I got three miles left. Should be coming up on a pretty nice downhill here pretty soon. But unfortunately, the day is gonna end with uh, a kind of brutal uphill probably the worst uphill on this whole uh, r bike ride it's uh, right at the very end of the road
All right, some beautiful visitor center views for you guys, which of course can only mean that I made it back to the visitor center. Took about exactly six hours round trip, and that was about 26 miles on the bike and about three, maybe four, three and a half miles, I'll say, on trail. Not too much hiking today, but that wasn't the point of the trip, so I'm okay with that. very very beautiful out here this was definitely an awesome bike tour to do i would highly recommend it anybody looking for a cool uh you know half a day to full day road biking tour definitely check out the island in the sky district in canyonlands national park i mean almost the entirety of the ride you're going to have epic views of the mountains and the canyons and cliffs and all kinds of cool stuff cool rock formations just everywhere you look and of course if you want to get off the bike and do a little hiking there's tons of options for that up here and uh, I would highly recommend at least doing that little two mile out and back to the uh, grand viewpoint overlook because that is just awesome um, wow what a what an awesome day really fun biking trip I hope you guys enjoyed I know this is different from the uh, normal content that I post uh, if you guys want to see more biking videos, definitely let me know because uh, I'm planning on riding that thing a lot. And um, also let me know what you guys thought of the video. I mean, if you guys want me to put some music over the, you know, recordings where I'm actually on the bike, let me know. Because normally I don't like putting music on my videos, but I do know that, you know, when I'm on the bike, it's just like wind noise the entire time. So just let me know if you want me to do that for future uh, biking videos that I do. But anyway, that's all I got, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys soon for some more awesome hiking and biking adventures.